Hello everyone, Aaron Dwyer here, websmartcentral.com. Today I'm going to be talking to you through setting up uh, local search engine listings in Google. It's very, very simple. And as you can see on this screen here, and I've talked about this in a previous video, this is your local search results when you type in a local search phrase into Google. It will bring up businesses that relate to your search criteria. So here I am here using my example. Now how did I actually get in here and how did I get to be close to the top? I'll give you a little tip. You see these words here that are slightly bolded? My search term here is Web Hosting Brisbane as you can see. Now in my business name that I've entered into the system I've used the words Web Hosting. See those keywords there? I've used those in my listing. So that's a tip for you that if you want to get highly ranked in the local search results, you want to try and weave into your business name, as it's appropriate of course, your keywords that, that uh, visitors may be entering appear. You obviously pick your prime keywords that you want to put into your business title because you only get one crack at that. So basically what you're doing is you are going into Google and you're setting this up. So let's do it. For this to work, you actually have to have a Google account. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you'll need to uh, create one. So what you want to do is you want to go to this location, google.com slash local slash ad. And when you go to that location, we'll just drift over there now, it wants you to log in. If you're not currently a member, you can click this link down here to create a new account. So we're going to create a new account and as you can see here on this page it's very simple they just want they just want an email address a password uh, that would be your current email address they just want to know where you are fill in a capture image there and agree to their terms of service and it, you'll be able to create an account and that will give you a Google account now that just won't apply for all of your uh, local business area that will give you a Google account to access all of Google's uh, bits and pieces Google Docs uh, you've got notepads you've got uh, all the Google um, web master tools there's a heap of stuff that Google provide that if you have a Google account you can get benefit out of now I'm just going to log in as my own account details here and we'll have a look. So here we are in the Google Local Business Center. Now as you can see up here there's two sections, there's locations and there's coupons. Coupons is not in Australia yet. Coupons is currently I believe in the US, Canada, China and Japan. It's not actually it's not actually anywhere else yet. So let's here's hoping that they actually do start that up because that'll be great. Now what we want to do here is we want to you can see here I have one business listing. You can have as many as you like. So one business listing uh, for me here and it's 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 simply listing out uh, your your business details. Now up here you can add a new listing there's that that link there to add a new listing so if we click that up comes the form now you have gotta fill this form out it's really simple pick your uh, country details obviously then all of these details here fill these out here now this is this is where it gets interesting. this is where you actually have the uh, ability to um, uh, nicely manipulate the um, position that you are placed at on the Google uh, local search results. So there's your company organization field up there. That's where I put in Netrospect Web Hosting with my keywords of Web Hosting. And you would do something similar. It may be um, concreting and it might be something got to do with a particular concreting that you're doing and maybe even the location. But here's where you put your website and the description in here. I would make sure that you use your keywords in the description. Keep the description nice and neat and make it uh, something that is applicable for your business and throw in at least your main keyword if not a secondary keyword just in the normal conversational flow of the description of what your business does. So that will basically place a marker on where it thinks that, that you are once you put your street address details in there because this is closely coupled with Google Maps. So let's go back 
and I'll just show you by editing my existing uh, business listing and as you can see there is a bunch of stuff in here now what basically happens is is that you're going to have to have a um, it will have to be verified it won't end up in there it won't end up in there immediately so what you want to do is you want to identify which categories your business falls under and you can have multiple categories and there's we have got a large list of categories pick your hours of operation and you're simply going down the list ticking off what your business does and how your business operates and you can add some videos and you can add some uh, photos if your business has photos of the, of, the, of the building of you of the logo of whatever you want to put in there anything extra to make your listing stand out or be given precedence above others even if it's within the my even if it's within Google's own uh, site so even if a customer doesn't actually see it the more you put in here the more Google's going to give uh, rating to it um, what else can I say about this and that's basically it it's as simple as that once you submit it it'll go in for approval gets approved shows up in the list it's as simple as that good luck with entering in your local business details I strongly urge that everybody does even businesses that don't currently have a website can operate and use this system you just leave out the actual website field that I showed you in the last screen and that's it good luck with your websites Bye for now. Talk soon.